I'm excited to be on the call today. And um, I'm just excited every time I get on here because I get a chance to sharpen my skills, but more importantly, just to share some of the things that can help some of you guys be able to grow out there and basically 10x your, your network marketing business. You know, every time I do these calls, I always happen to do them on Wednesdays, which is, like you said, the day that ACM pays out, right? So when you just get excited about every single week knowing that you and your team are making money, the business is going to take care of itself. Your ultimate purpose, if you're taking notes right now, your focus should be on every single week, you and your team should just be making a check. The amount doesn't matter. It's just the consistency of getting a check cut. And how do you get a check cut? By doing what? Going out there, talking to people, having people sign up in the company, acquire customers, and help them acquire new business partners, and acquire new customers, go to events, get training. Once you follow that same system over and over and over and over, before you know it, your business is going to grow. Your business is going to grow. If you're taking notes right now, what's to write down? Number one, understanding the MLM business model. Listen, if you don't understand the business model, then it's like playing Monopoly and you don't know the rules. You're not going to win, right? You know, you're just going to just roll the dice. And the purpose of the game is what? To purchase properties, go past go, make money. Then people land on your properties. But if you're just going past go and you're not buying anything, are you following the business model? No. So it's no different than anything else, right? So you also want to focus on effective communication skills. Then you want to focus on building a strong team. Why? Because the name of the game is the bigger the team, the more money you make. That's the purpose of network marketing is to build a strong team, right? Then they have the product knowledge. If you don't understand what we're offering, what we're trying to sell to people, then how can you go out there and have a team that know what they're selling? Because if you have a team of people and they don't know what they're selling, then you're not going to generate any type of income. So your organization also has to be effective on the services that we do offer and effective time management. So understanding the MLM business model, right? The MLM business model, also known as network marketing, is a type of direct selling where individuals earn commission not only on their own sales, but also on the sales made by those that they recruit into the business. So when you break it down and you keep it super simple, that's literally what we do. That's literally all that we do. So once I understood that simple model, I said to myself, if it's already working, why should I try to recreate the wheel? So I should just follow the simple system. And since I got started in the business, that has been the most important simple things that I say that I just kept it super simple because I always remember being at training and hearing them say, K-I-S-S, keep it super simple. Who in here by the show of hands seen that before, right? So me, once I saw that, they was just like, man, don't complicate it. Just keep it super simple. And you keep doing it over a long period of time, you're going to have success. So that's what I did. From there, unlike any traditional business model, where the product are only sold through the retail stores or online marketplace, the MLM companies, they rely on the individual, the distributors, to basically go out there and promote it. So once they promote it, when you think about it, the best form of marketing is what? Word of mouth marketing. So when you think about word of mouth marketing, MLM is just taking word of mouth marketing and taking it to another level because now they allow you to get paid on other people word of mouth marketing. So once I understood like, oh, the company is smart because when you think about it, most people are going to purchase services. Why? Because based upon the relationship that they have with the individual, that's the business we're in. We're in relationship marketing. Because at the end of the day, we're doing business with people nine times out of 10 that we have some sort of relationship with. And nine times out of 10, the best part about that is, is the customer retention. Because now you have customers that's going to stick around for a long period of time because they're going to stay a customer because they're trying to help their friend out. And they're saving money in the process. Compared to if it's just a company that they have no emotional relationship with, it's always another company that can save you, quote unquote, more money out there. So once I understood the business model, to me, it just made a lot of sense. From there, hold on one second. Effective communication skills. Effective communication is vital in MLM because it helps you build relationships 
with your prospects and your team members. And that's really important because I remember when I went to college my first year, I actually went to school for communication. So by being in the communication just for that one year alone, I remember we had, uh, it's called speech. So we had a class called speech where you had to dress up, you had to come to class, you had to learn how to speak in front of the room. And most people, they were scared to speak in front of the room. But for that, I remember for that one semester in that speech class, I think I got like 85. And then I was also doing MLM at the same time. So it was just like, so that's why I was able to get so good at speaking in front of the room because I went to school for communication. So a lot of the little things, it helped me to this day in my business because I just went out there and implemented. So if you don't have any communication skills, listen, you can learn it. It's just like anything else, but you got to understand that you're building relationships with people. You're building relationships with customers. You're building relationships with prospects. You have to be out there building relationships. If you see me, I'm always building new relationships. I'm never around the same people. I'm all about building new relationships. How can we partner? Up? How can we network? Because at the end of the day, your network is everything. See, if you land in the right room with the right people, your business can change forever. But if you're not out there going out there and having any type of communication skills in order to build relationships with individuals, because at the end of the day, if someone want to do the business, they're going to do the business with you based upon what? The relationship that you guys have. So you have to be out here building relationships, not just trying to get people in, but try to develop a relationship so that when they get in, they stay in. Because once they feel comfortable working with you, guess what happens? They open up their network to you. You don't have to force people to open up their network. Listen, people just bring me people. They're like, man, you need to meet this guy. You need to, like, so once you get to a certain point, people are going to just start bringing their network to you. Why? Because they understand the value that you bring. So at the end of the day, you have to start building relationships, even with your team. Because I have people that have been involved in a company for as long as I've been involved, nine years, 10 years. Do you know that most people don't even do a business for more than 30 days? But imagine being able to have people that get involved in your business. And then nine years later, they're still out there pushing it and growing it the same way they was when they first started the business. Why? Because I built a relationship with them that's bigger than just business. You have to just build a relationship with your people's ways, though. You're helping them make money. Listen, if you help people make money in the business, that solves most of their problems right there. And doing it with a simple system that's very duplicatable and anyone can do it. As long as they go out there and be consistent and just talk to a lot of people. The name of the game is the more people you talk to, the more money you make. The more people you and your team talk to, the more money everyone makes. So as long as you guys are talking to new people and getting in front of new people every single day, you never know who's going to come involved in your business and take it to the next level. You never know who's going to come involved and love the business more than you do, and you don't even have to do nothing with them anymore, and they go out there and they build a massive, huge business. But if you don't talk to anyone, if you don't build any relationships, how would that happen? So building a strong team, why is this important? Building a strong team is very important because like Mr. Thomas said, I had a strong team. I remember when we used to go to conventions and I mean, like we took over events, like the presence was known. Then guess what I started doing? I started saying, you know what? We need to get our own brand. So when they go to the events, they'll see everyone is like Wolfpack, Wolfpack. And it's like branding is important when people feel as though they're a part of something, they're stronger together because now everyone have a movement which is to become successful. We're all young people when we first started trying to figure out, man, how do you become rich? We see this for the first time. We've never got a chance to travel outside of the city and just basically see a different life. So for kids from Baltimore getting a chance to start traveling in North Carolina, we see California, like every quarter we started traveling. And then we just started just building the teams in different marketplaces. So we got a chance to do a whole lot. It, it made us strong as a team. So I would suggest you to go out there and build a strong team. And the only way to do that is by building relationships. You got to build relationships with people. And building a strong team is very crucial because your team members, and it's your support system. And their success, it directly impacts your business. So the more successful they are, the more successful you are. So if you help them get what they want, you're going to get what you want. So the name of the game is to do what? To recruit and to remain or retain a strong team members. Listen, my people are still here today. They're still here. They're still pushing. Why? Because we got a support system. If you follow the system, you're going to make money. 
If you don't follow a system, you're not going to make money. It's literally that simple. And what that does is that it gives everyone an opportunity to be able to have success. No one is special. The only thing is special is the person that consistently do the work over and over. And guess what? Before you know it, you're going to find that person that want to become that superstar. You don't want to be an RVP by yourself. You want to be able to produce other RVPs. But in order to do that, you got to do what? Build a strong team and build a team that it just grows without you. That's the ultimate goal is to build a team of people that just grows without you. Again, product knowledge. You got to understand what we're offering. See, once I got involved in a business and where I'm from in Baltimore is uh, BG&E. So it's Baltimore Gas and Electricity. Everybody know BG&E is expensive. Like everybody complains about the gas and electricity. But the thing about it is we have gas and we have electric, but the process is so simple that anyone can sign up to become a customer. There's no credit check, no background check. There's nothing. So we had an opportunity where we can acquire a lot of customers because it's just the way that it was set up. So what we did was we understood that the goal is to get a lot of energy customers. And all we did was talk to a lot of people. We understood gas and electricity. We understood that in the summertime, it's really, really hot. So guess what? You're going to use a lot of AC. Your bill is going to go up. And in the wintertime, it's going to be really, really cold. And you're going to use your um, your heat to warm your home. And guess what? At the end of the day, BG is still going to be making money. How would you feel if you put yourself in a position of something that's going to happen anyway? And your bill is going to continue to go up and down. So at the end of the day, you might as well get paid off of it. So once we understood that concept, it was just like, it sold itself. So I mastered gas and electricity. And still to this day, my business has always maintained, you know, a large amount of billing volume based upon what? Gas and electricity. Because I understood this, the service. All you got to do is master one service. But guess what? We also have a bunch of other services. But I know that what I did when I first got started was I mastered gas and electricity. Why? Because you already got it. I don't have to sell you on it. I have my aunt. She's been on it for nine years. And I haven't talked to her in a little while. But guess what? She pays that bill every single month. I'm like, man, this is crazy. People from 2013 is still my customers. And I never had to reconvince them to become my customer again. Effective time management. Effective time management is a crucial in MLM industry also because why? Where your success depends on is building a strong team and making the consistent sales. Listen, if you're not acquiring new services, then no one is making money. So it's great to build a new team. It's great to build a big team. But at the end of the day, are you going to help those people acquire brand new customers? Every single day, there should be new customers. And the only way to do that is, guess what? By getting weekly paychecks. Because you know that in order to cut a check in ACN, you got to help people acquire what? customers so once you help people acquire customers that's what happened the paychecks start rolling in and i promise you once people start making money you really don't have to convince them to do too much work because once they get a piece of it they're going to want more but if they never got it then guess what happened they never know what it feels like so me personally my first 30 days that's why i tell people it's always important to help people get their money right away because what really got me sold was I think it was like $13.50. The bonus was $13.50. And I think I did it in like, really like a week and a half. Honestly, I did it like a week and a half. But we was getting checks back then. So it took about 30 days for me to get the check. And then I saw the payout. And then the next week, you know, another check came because it all broken down by the time the customers got um, connected. So it was just like a nice check. I'm like... It was more money than I was making from any check at Applebee's because you're a server. So you get by 363 an hour. The so check maybe two, 300 bucks. But when I got that check from ACN 30 days later, I was just like, I didn't do much work. So for me, I was sold right away. So it was easy for me to tell everybody like, listen, it worked. I hit my bonus, 1350 in less than two weeks. So for me, it was just like, what can you tell me? How can you tell me the business don't work when I just, they sent me the check. I got a picture of my phone still of those first three checks. So for me, once I was sold, it was just like, oh, the business worked. So if you do what these people tell you to do, you're still going to be able to make money. But guess what? Everybody's making money. The company's having success. It's a win-win situation for everyone. 
And still to this day, everything that they said they're going to do, it happened. So no matter what, if you choose to take your business serious or you choose not to take it serious, there are some people that every single week we're getting paid. Why? Because we built a system. We took it serious. Once you build the system, it's just like people talk about hitting the lottery. Listen, I hit the lottery every seven days because would you not rather get something for the rest of your life, potentially, or instead of hope for something that might happen one out of a trillion years? So most people get excited about things that they can't control, but you can control building a successful business. It just takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight, but you want to understand that once you build it, you don't got to build it again. It's the best part about it is once you build it, you don't got to build it again. So me looking back now saying like, I'm happy I took it serious because I'm not reaping the fruits of my labor because I remember when they used to say, imagine 10 years from now, you're still making money off of things. It's true. It's true. It's possible. And it's not about the amount. It's the fact that it keeps come. It keeps on coming. Why? Because the system is working. And the system is meant to work with or without you. And any system that works with or without you is one of the best systems that you want to build. Why? Because at the end of the day, you're now making money, but you have the time, freedom, and do what you want to do. And everything is continuing going on with or without your involvement. But you being involved is going to help it grow tremendously. But at the end of the day, once you build it up, you find the right people, they're going to build it regardless. Why? Because they have goals and aspirations that they want to do. So that's basically all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys was able to learn something and go out there and just follow the simple system. I'm telling you, it's working. I, I can't convince you guys no more, but the system is the best thing that I could have ever did was take it serious. And I learned it from my mentor, Mr. Adam Wu, because he did real estate. So how he ran his real estate companies, he ran it the same way, follows. It was just like, I had no choice but just follow the system. And I became the system. And then once I became the system and people saw the success behind it, they said, oh, he, he, don't, he don't do that much. He just do the same thing over and over. But they saw that, you know, what comes out of that. So that's really it.